effect. It is an everyday experience that the pitch or frequency of the horn of a fast moving car increases as it comes towards the stationary observer. When they approach a stationary source of sound with high speed, the pitch of the sound heard appears to be higher than that of the source. As the observer recedes away from the source, the observed pitch or frequency becomes lower than that of the source. This motion related frequency change is called Doppler effect. We shall analyze changes in frequency under three different situations. One, observer is stationary but the source is moving. Two, observer is moving but the source is stationary. Three, both the observer and the source are moving. If there is no medium present, the Doppler shifts are same irrespective of whether the source moves or the observer moves since there is no way of distinction between two situations. Let us first choose the convention to take the direction from the observer to the source as the positive direction of velocity. Consider a source S moving with velocity Vs and an observer who is stationary in a frame in which the medium is also at rest. Let the speed of a wave of angular frequency omega and period t not both measured by an observer at rest with respect to the medium b v. We assume that the observer has a detector that counts every time a wave crest reaches it. As shown in figure, at time t equals to 0, the source is at point S1 located at a distance L from the observer and emits a crest. This reaches the observer at time T1 equals to L by V. At time T equals to T0 the source has moved a distance Vs T0 and is at points 2 located at a distance L plus Vs T0 from the observer at S2 the source emits a second crest. This reaches the observer at T2 equals to T0 plus L plus Vs T0 by V. At time N T0, the source emits its N plus 1 crest and this reaches the observer at time T N plus 1 equals to N T0 plus L plus N V S T0 by V. The period of the wave as the t given by t equals to t0 plus vst0 by v. t equals to t0 1 plus vs by v. Equation may be rewritten in terms of the frequency v0 that would be measured if the source and observer were stationary and the frequency mu observed when the source is moving as mu equals to mu0 1 plus Vs by V power minus 1. If Vs is small compared with the wave speed V, taking binomial expansion to terms in first order in Vs by V and neglecting higher power, giving mu equals to mu naught 1 minus Vs by V. For a source approaching the observer, we replace Vs by minus Vs to get V equals to V naught 1 plus mu s by mu. The observer thus measures a lower frequency when the source recedes from him than he does when it is at rest. He measures a higher frequency when the source approaches him. Mu equals to mu naught 1 plus v s by v. Observer moving, source stationary. We work in the reference frame of the moving observer. In this reference, frame the source and medium are approaching at speed V0 and the speed with which the wave approaches is V0 plus V. Following a similar procedure as in the previous case, we find that the time interval between the arrival of the first and the n plus 1th crest is Tn plus 1 minus T1 equals to nt0 minus nv0 t0 upon v plus v0.
The observer thus measures the period of the wave to be T01 minus V0 upon V plus V0, giving V equals to V0 into 1 plus V0 by V. Both source and observer moving. Let the source and the observer be moving with velocities Vs and Vr respectively. Suppose at time t equals to 0, the observer is at O1 and the source is at S1, where O1 being to the left of S1, the source emits a wave of velocity V, of frequency V and period T0 all measured by an observer at rest with respect to the medium. Let L be the distance between O1 and S1 at t equals to 0, when the source emits the first crest. Now, since the observer is moving, the velocity of the wave relative to the observer is V plus V0. Therefore, the time crest reaches the observer at time T1 equals to L by V plus V0. At time T equals to T0, both the observer and the source have moved to their new positions O2 and S2 respectively. The new distance between the observer and the source O2 S2 would be L plus Vs minus V0 into T0. At S2, the source emits a second crest. This reaches the observer at time. T2 equals to T0 plus L plus Vs minus V0 T0 upon V plus V0. At time nt0 the source emits its n plus 1 crest and this reaches the observer at time. T n plus 1 equals to nt0 plus L plus nvs minus V0 T0 upon V plus V0. Hence, in a time interval T n plus 1 minus T1 that is N T naught plus L plus N V S minus V naught T naught upon V plus V naught minus L upon V plus V naught. The observer counts N crest and the observer records the period of the wave as equal to T given by T equals to T naught 1 plus V S minus V naught upon V plus V naught equals to T naught V S plus V upon V plus V naught. The frequency V mu observed by the observer is given by mu equals to mu naught V naught plus V upon V plus Vs.